What's up, guys? Jackson Galvin here. I'm here with uh, Matt Friedeborn, one of our uh, standout fighters. We're going to show you a kind of a concept and a drill that we use here to sort of uh, practice this idea of countering and returning, like blocking and returning, and always using our defense in sort of an offensive way. So that we're not just getting hit and surviving, but we're taking that opportunity of them hitting us to hit them back uh, more. So we'll give a demonstration of what we're going to do, and I'll break it down for you, okay? So at a basic level, this is a concept that we can apply to any punch that the pad will in my throat. But for the sake of demonstration, we're going to go off a lead and a rear hook, or a left and a right hook, okay? Again, the return combinations can be anything off of any punch. It's whatever you guys want to work with, whatever works for you. Personally, what we're doing now is what we call an inside counter, meaning when that lead hook comes, I'm inside the punch, and I drop down that hand. When the other side comes, Again, inside the punch and drop down that hand. And we finish with two additional punches for good measure, okay? So the idea here with the inside counter, it's all about timing, it's all about setting a trap. So sometimes we'll say, you know, don't let the other guy steal your cheese as if you're like a mouse trap and he's a mouse. So if my cheese is here, he goes to take it, as soon as he touches it, we spring the trap, okay? Now, if I'm too slow, my timing's off. No matter how hard I hit or how hard I smash that trap, it's not really very effective. It's kind of worthless, right? So as soon as he touches me, he goes nice and slow, boom, we spring the trap. Just like that. It's not by vision, it's by touch, a sense of touch. So, good, okay? Now, at a basic level, to practice this drill, he'll just throw a hook from either side. throw the proper combination. The next level would be to chain those two together in a series of two, three, four, five, with a constant flow. Third level, you want to do this drill is now he's going to open me up. He's going to get me out of my guard with just some basic combinations. Jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, whatever. Okay? Yeah. So, when we have this reaction drill concept down, no matter what drill we're actually doing, we can supplement it uh, at any time by throwing the hook, and we have that agreement that we know I'm gonna come back with that inside counter or whatever. And again, some variations on this would be, instead of throwing, go ahead, we'll do cross, hook, elbow. Okay, we can throw an elbow, same hook. Cross, hook, kick, good. Cross, hook, knee, doesn't matter. Okay, you can play around with these, but the idea here is that we're training ourselves. When he hits me, I'm not shrinking away. I'm not afraid of getting hit. I'm excited because when I recognize that this hook is coming, boom, I'm gonna hit him one, two, three, four, five, ten times. Okay, so we're setting little traps. And again, even an idea, you can throw a jab at me. Two, three, two. You can throw a teeth. Kick. You, know, you can throw a body kick we can go into our reaction drills. You want to feel like your body's booby trapped, so you should have a reaction or an answer, a basic answer for any attack that they have for you. So that as you step into the pocket and throw combinations, they're in inevitably and invariably going to swing back. That doesn't cause you to step back and reset, but again, that allows you to stay in there and react, okay? So off of blocks, off of head movement, off of anything, build out some reaction drills, practice them, and you'll see a very improved um, ability to stand in, in the pocket and, and trade with your partner when you spar when you fight, okay? Jackson Galka, Matt Friedborn, see you later.